Okay, today what we're going to focus on is setting up our um, RS Logix 5000 to get ready to program. There's a number of steps involved in doing this, and I want to walk you through as many as possible. So um, we open up RS Logix 5000 or 500, sorry, by clicking on the start the, the startup menu at the bottom left hand side of your screen come up here to RS Logix 500. Mine's in my quick tabs again, but we'll go through the uh, all programs button to get there just uh, in case uh, it's not available for you. So we go to Rockwell Software. We go to our RS Logix 500 and click RS Logix 500 English right here and this will boot it up. Now when it's when it's avail when it's popped up sometimes depending on the uh, hold your computer is it can take a little bit of time but the first thing we're going to do this operates in a Windows environment so it's going to act a lot like Microsoft Word and so if you've done something in Microsoft Word and you're trying to accomplish a similar task in RS Logix 500 just do what you would do in Word most of the time it works so we're going to create a new file here by clicking the new file um, icon and we're using a MicroLogic 1400. Now this is very important that we select the, the right processor, at least the right family of processors, because if not, it can cause some major problems down the line. But you can see here that um, RS Logix 500 has a, a lot of different processors out there. So we're gonna come through and we're gonna select one of the MicroLogic 1400s. I'm gonna select the Series B and I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna expand this out to take up the whole screen. Now, here is my new uh, RS Logix 500 program. And the first thing we have to do is we need to go to our controller properties. Controller properties are where we tell what type of processor we want. If we want our processor to have a name, we can give it here. So I'll double click here and uh, just uh, type in teacher. When you're putting your processor name in, avoid spaces. Okay, if you need a space, do an underscore. A lot of RS Logics or a lot of Rockwell automation programs don't like spaces. So we select apply here. Then we're going to go over to controller communications and we need to make sure that we're linking the right driver um, and we have to have the right driver so we can link the, our uh, PC to the correct PLC. Now here's a driver right here. So I'm going to click here. We just created two new drivers in a previous video, Teacher 1 and Teacher 2. I'm going to go ahead and select Teacher 1. Okay, This was just the general um, Ethernet IP driver. And then I'm going to select Who Active. I need to go out and actually physically select which one, which PLC I'm going to use on my network because I've got a bunch of them. So I'm going to select the uh, 192.186.1.111 um, uh, micro Logix 1400 processor that I want to use here. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Now it's very, very important that you hit apply here. If you don't, it might not take it. So we select supply and you can see this, what's called the MAC IP address here has changed. So we're going to hit OK. So now we have our controller properties available to us and we're completed it. We know that we're going to be linking to the correct PLC. And now the next step, and this is so very important if you're using a PLC that has cards available for it. The MicroLogic 1400 is a hybrid PLC and so it has um, fixed I.O. but then you can add cards to it to make it more of a chassis type um, PLC where you can just keep adding cards to it. So when you have cards you have to configure your I.O. So you come over here under controller, double click, and for the RS Logix 500, they make it very, very simple. You don't have to go out and find the uh, model numbers or anything. You just go in, you select Read I.O. You select Read I.O. right here when it's in your configuration page. In this case, it's saying, hey, you selected a MicroLogic 1400 Series B. We're out there. We're seeing a Series A. No big deal. We select OK again and we're good to go. And you can see the two cards that we have have already popped up. So we're using a um, 16 um, input uh, DC card and we're using a 16 um, output relay 200 
40 volt AC card. And we're going to exit out of here. At this point now, you are completely ready to program. And we can get, we're going to start on that on the next video.